everyone, it's Neil from Super with Runners and Warehouse. I'm with you with the video. It's been a little while since I've done some videos. Been trying to figure out the best format to uh, put information out. Uh, some crazy stuff has been happening with spring weather. It's snowed. It's uh, been. I'm in a blizzard right now here in Colorado, which is a little bit crazy and unpredictable, but it is what it is. I just want to talk a little bit about some of the news we're starting to hear again on the housing market. A lot of people are coming out and talking about are we in a, are we in a downturn? There's been a little bit of uh, uh, you know some of the markets have softened, um, and with this softening, it brings back all of those that are talking about a big downturn. I think something that was really interesting that came out recently um, was a quote by uh, Warren Buffett talking about when did the current cycle really ta start and how where are we in the current cycle and are we in the down downward side of a current cycle. Uh, I think that, you know, Warren Buffett's view uh, is that the cycle started in around 2015. So we had the downturn happening. The peak of the market was probably in 2005, late 2005, early 2006 in most markets. And then we had this very long downturn that went until so a, lot, a lot of people will say 2012, but really the market started to probably truly pick up in, into 2014, the get, beginning of 2015. So that only puts us a few years into the current cycle. And I think that the cycle is going to continue. Uh, values are going to continue to uh, appreciate, albeit slower. And uh, you're going to have some sub-markets and some markets that, that, that just shot up like a rocket and now are leveling off maybe going down just a little bit. Um, those are okay things. That's the that's the market with, you know, that had its foot on the accelerator, letting off the gas a little bit. And I think the, some of the fear monitoring, monitoring that goes on out there, uh, people just need to be aware of that and understand where the data is coming from. And, and not only where the data is coming from, who's the person interpreting it? And what's the interpretation of the data? I mean, we see, I see some articles out there that are super misleading talking about uh, the, you know, uh, interest rates have gone down and it's a bad thing. Interest rates keep dropping and the market's this and softening that. Interest rates going low is great. It helps juice the market a little bit. Uh, I think that also what you have to understand as well is that, you know, with any softening of the market, there are a ton of investors, institutional, small, uh, sophisticated investors with a lot of capital on the sidelines waiting to invest if there's a downturn in the market. And that gets into kind of what I've talked about in the past of what's the new normal? What is the new normal on, on existing home sales? What's the new normal on new home sales? What's the new normal on uh, home ownership rate, uh, rental rate? Uh, we're, we're turning, a lot of people are becoming more uh, uh, renters than homeowners and they're actually turning to and investing into real estate. You're seeing the value of owning real estate, the you know what they want to buy or what they want to own in their market, it may be unattainable. So therefore they're uh, renting and then investing. There's all kinds of different things you can do and, and think about that could affect the market. But uh, I think we're still in a strong market. I think we're gonna stay there for a little bit and uh, really look at your data and think about it. Uh, don't just look at the headlines. And yeah, we're gonna have some softening in some markets and that's an okay thing. Uh, there's still an affordability issue. Leave your comments below. Uh, love to hear, hear from you. Um, we, you know, speaking of, of affordability and, and investors buying, um, we're really going deep into the investor space with Renters Warehouse. And it's something that I'm changing my focus a little bit to from building out our, our brokerages, which, which has been going great around the country to serve investors, to now servicing some of those larger investors. We have investors that are buying all over the country that are aggressively buying portfolios, stabilized rental assets, and soon we'll be buying um, even vacant properties to rehab. So uh, I'd love to hear from anybody that uh, has investors that they work with that would like to uh, work with us. And um, there's some great opportunities as some of the markets soften. There's going to be a lot of investors. There are a lot of investors that are out there uh, buying and there's a new school of uh, what I call the mid cap institutional investor that is out there aggressively uh, looking for assets in all markets. So they're not just focused on the larger markets. They're really going into and looking at some of these tertiary markets, what we call, let's say, a top 100 market within an hour's drive of a top 100 market that 
you can get the yields and the cap rates that they're looking for. And these, these guys are buying at a six cap uh, net yield and a gross of 11 yields, so, or 11 cap rates. So that is, uh, that's pretty aggressive. And I think that there's a lot of opportunities in some of these secondary markets that are thriving right now that where population is moving to uh, that has have opened their arms to business and have a uh, you know lesser less expensive market as far as a you know what I call low cost market like a Oklahoma City uh, Tulsa Huntsville Alabama Greenville uh, Columbus Ohio uh, all these different markets a Charlotte's even a market like that that investors can be more aggressive in and and also still in Florida and a lot of markets in Florida so definitely looking for for opportunities in those markets and so i just want to throw that out there leave a comment below i look forward to hearing back from you on your thoughts thank you